Uh, let's look at uh, 2277, 20, uh, cl uh, closest nodes to a path. So the question uh, is here. We are given n nodes representing uh, uh, the nodes from 0 to n minus 1 in a tree. So also, the, we are given 2D integer array edges of uh, length n minus 1. So we have n nodes, we have n minus 1 edge. So in this problem, the nodes actually as edges form a tree. <coughs> so each edge, uh, so in the edge, so we have a start node, n node 1, and uh, we have end node, node 2. So this edge denotes a bidirectional. So we are also given an integer array query. Each query uh, is a list consisting start, end, and node. So, um, so our task is to find in the node on the path from node i to uh, start, uh, start i to end i, that is closest uh, to the node in the query. In other words, uh, we want to find the path starting from uh, start and end with end, and uh, we want to find the near uh, the the node uh, in the on the path that is closest to node i. So um, for each of the query, we want to find this uh, uh, node. So the return will be an integer array uh, of length m same to the length of query, where each of the answer is the corresponding uh, nearest uh, node in the path to the target node in the query. So uh, this, uh, let's look at one example. So here the number n is 7. In other words, we have n nodes. So we have six edges. So six, the six edge, six bidirectional edge. So because the edge number is one less than the total number nodes, so this is a uh, tree. So for tree, actually, uh, any between any of the two nodes, there is a unique path. So also here, query is uh, we have length two, and for query one, we have start node is five and end node is three. The target uh, node is four. So from five to three, the path is five two zero three. So um, uh, obviously, and the node zero is nearest to the target node 4, that is uh, 2 in the length 2, 2 edges between 0 and 2. So the answer for query 1, uh, for query in uh, this query, 5, 3, 4, is 0. Similarly, uh, among this path starting, with, uh, starting from 5 and ending with 3, so the node 2 is nearest to the target node 6. So corresponding to this query, the answer is 2. OK, so now we have a good understanding about the problem itself. So here we would like to give a solution. Uh, because it's uh, related to uh, nearest path, the, we are going to solve this problem using bright first search, uh, which corresponds uh, to a data structure that is Q. So actually here, because the graph actually is a tree, so we can also uh, consider uh, breadth, uh, depth first search. Uh, so either of the two breadth first search or um, depth first search will work because of the uniqueness of paths between two uh, edges. So here, uh, the scenario is like this. The first step, uh, step one, uh, uh, for each query, for each query, <coughs> Uh, we would like to, uh, so which on the start, end, and the target uh, uh, node. So the first step is that uh, step one. So we want to find the uh, path from start uh, to end. So this will give a list of nodes, right? So the so step two is uh, to do the first uh, search again from uh, Target node, but the, uh, we need to, uh, if we do this uh, again for all nodes, this will be time limited. So the idea here is the key point in step two is that so we do tar uh, we do bread first search uh, from the target node, and then we expand outwards. So once we match a node 
on the path from start to end. Uh, we stop, and uh, that node is actually the answer. So we uh, start um, from target node uh, in BFS. Uh, once uh, we match, we meet a node which is on the path in step one. Uh, then uh, we stop. And this node is actually the near the nearest node in the on the path on the path to the target node. So uh, with this uh, notice, let's look at the code. <coughs> so first uh, step uh, step zero at a preparation we want to. Uh, we want to make a graph from the given conditions. So make a graph. So here uh, we want to use uh, so we use the adjacency list the representation of the graph. So we do collections. Uh, we use the default dict. So we can for each of the node we want to find its uh, directly and connected neighbors. So we can use a set diff structure. So for the node a one a two in edges. So we add n two uh, to the neighbor of n one because it's uh, bidirectional. Also, we add n one to the neighbor of n two. But this way, we got the, the graph. So we can have a look at uh, this uh, graph G. <coughs> You know, so zero is connected to one, two, three, and one is connected to zero, zero and four, so on so forth. So now let's look at uh, mm, uh, let's look at the help function for BFS. <coughs> so uh, step uh, one, and BFS to find uh, the path, actually the shortest path from uh, uh, start to end. So here we use uh, a BFS from a start uh, to end. Uh, here we want to write in an iterative uh, fashion. So, um, so let's initialize a visit. So just track if we have a, a node have been already visited. So we use a queue data structure. So uh, start. Also we record the path uh, ending with the current node. So um, next is the standard uh, iteration value. So we pop this one from the, the left. So we uh, look at the node, the current uh, current uh, node, and the path because the uh, pop uh, zero. <coughs> so the first step is to check if node equals end. So if node equals end, we are done. So we just return the path. Um, otherwise, if node uh, not in visited. So if it's invisited, we need to continue with it. Um, so um, we first um, update the visit site, so because uh, now we are visiting this node. Then we check the neighbors of the current node. For new node in, in, graph, uh, in graph node, so then we can, if new node uh, not visited yet, so we add we add the, uh, the current uh, node and the path ending at this node to the queue. So we append this, uh, this tuple, the tuple because the new node and the, and the path plus the, uh, the new node. So this way we get uh, uh, we get uh, the uh, the BFS helper function. So next uh, we go to step two. <coughs> So step two actually is also do BFS, but we uh, we want with early stopping. Thus we uh, match node in the um, path on the path from start to end. So for uh, start, end, and target node uh, in uh, query. So we first find the the path from start to end. So the path equals uh, 
um, is actually BFS uh, start and end. So here uh, we want to uh, we want to uh, convert this to a set because this uh, only the the nodes on um, we just uh, need to check if um, when we do the BFS from the uh, target node if we match a node in the past. So now let's do uh, the uh, first search uh, starting from target node. So first uh, we uh, initialize a um, set, uh, set to check if a node is visited or not. So then um, uh, we uh, still we uh, we use a queue. So the queue uh, start from the target node. <coughs> so next we iterate while queue. So the current uh, uh, the current node uh, is queue pop uh, because we want to use uh, right first search. So we pop from the left side. Left side. So then uh, we want to check if this node uh, if this node uh, in the past. If it's uh, if it's in the past, so um, we oh, here we forgot we first uh, initialize the result as the uh, uh, empty list. So if we the node is in the past, so we can append the result with the node, and then we can break. So otherwise, if node is not in the past, so we check if node not in uh, thin. We haven't checked this uh, uh, yet. So uh, uh, we can, uh, if not node uh, not in, um, so we, uh, maybe we can uh, we can do it this check later. So if node not in uh, in the past, other in the other case, so we can first uh, update the thin. That's clear. We are dealing with the current node. Then we check neighbors for new node. Uh, for new node in um, node. So here we do the check if new node uh, not in thin. So we append this new node to the queue. Mm. Um, yeah, that's um, that's it because uh, uh, so uh, because there is a, must be a node which is nearest to the target node. So it always uh, break in some point. So then we return the result. Let's do a check to see if it works. So for this example, it works. Let's do a submit to see. OK, so it's not bad. So yeah, that's about it. Yeah, thank you very much.